this next activity is focused on understanding formulas. Now, before we get into that, this activity, we'll do a quick rehash over the last two skills we've learned in relation to spreadsheets. So the first one is understanding our cells, columns, and rows. Okay, and within those, knowing the difference between a label, which is used to describe the elements of the spreadsheet, our values, which are numbers that are used for doing our calculations, and then finally, what the actual purpose of our spreadsheet is today, using formulas. Okay, as you can also already see, I've formatted my spreadsheet, so it's clear and looks attractive, but data will stand out because I have formatted it. So you can see I've used color and different colors, okay, in different sections so that it makes sense, as well as inserting a border. So we're gonna now start by inserting formulas into our spreadsheet, and we're gonna do this row by row. What these actual formulas are gonna do is that I'm going to have two numbers under, under number one and number two, and the corresponding row will add these two numbers, subtract these two numbers, multiply these two numbers, and divide these two numbers. So let's start off with the addition. To start off a formula, you always press equals first, and you then enter in the cell reference. So I'm uh, referencing cell A2, and I'm going to go plus cell B2, and then press enter. And it will add those two cells together. So one plus two equals three. I'm then gonna do the same for subtraction, except I'm gonna press equals to start it off. Instead of typing in A2, I'm just gonna click on the cell, minus cell B2, and then press enter. And as you can see, that was a much quicker process. For multiplication, I'm gonna press equals A2, but there is no X or time symbol on my keyboard. So it's in um, programming, as well as in spreadsheets, you use the asterisk symbol, which is shift eight, to do a multiplication. Okay, and then B2. And then finally for division, equals A2 slash B2. Okay, so for this row, these two numbers, are being added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided. Okay, now I want to bring these same formulas down to do to all these rows as well. So I'm going to grab the corner here. So as you can see, the cursor changes when I go to the corner of my selection and do a relative reference. So now that same formula has been applied to all the corresponding rows. Okay, so this row here does five plus six, five minus six, five times six, and five divided by six. Okay, so it's all centered around formulas. Remember, a formula always starts with equals, and we use our cell references within the formula to always know which cells we're talking about. So for that reason, if I change this two to a five, all the actual formulas update corresponding to that change. If I change it to a 1,267, once again, all the cells will accommodate based on their formula. So I hope this gives you a bit of an understanding of how formulas work, the importance of using cell referencing within the formulas, as well as symbols used when creating our formulas.